So the first interesting thing is to find the relevant frequent, the frequency range getting gold wave started on my old guitar. So here goes a new file, two minutes, very good. And to see frequency, uh, I would like to have my spectrum shown on my control panel. So here it goes. On the guitar, here it is. So play. And what is observed? I think I'll try to stop and then I'll play one note. And what is observed is that there's a uh, there's a fundamental uh, sine wave at in this case around 500 hertz there's a sine wave at around 1 kilohertz and there's a sine wave around 1.4 so this is like first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic fourth harmonic etc etc of this very uh, tone this means that i and uh, in this case i'll only be focusing on the first harmonic so I'll try to zoom in on say to one kilohertz doing by getting the properties oh, and let's zoom in to say maybe 1500 okay and try again Same exercise again, so let's just have one note, one, so this is like the bass note going around, in this case say 260 maybe, the first, the second harmonic is not that strong, but the th third harmonic, 700, I guess, uh, is a bit stronger. So, um, uh, I'm going to play from the range from this, which is an uh, F note, and this is the highest note. So I'll try the, the lowest and the highest note. Uh, so the lowest note. Once again, the lowest note goes like... Close to 200 Hertz. And the highest note... It's way easier, this is around... 800 Hertz so I'm going from 200 to 800 Hertz um, this means that I'm going to have to have a sample rate of 2 times 800 Hertz that's like 1500 Hertz that's like 1600 Hertz so I try to get me a new file with a sampling rate around 1600 Hertz which is not available. Can I do like ask for 1600? And I can. So I'll get rid of this old one. And here goes the plane. And maybe we should have the control up and running. Yeah. Uh, 
comes again. that so let's hear what that is. Mm -hmm. 